I'm Mark Tilley from Dirt Bike Magazine, and today we're pretty excited. We're getting to see a all brand new motorcycle and a two stroke from Yamaha. Yamaha is one of the only Japanese manufacturers that's still producing two strokes. They're not only producing them, but they're doing a great job at innovation and putting time and effort into making them better. Case in point, the 2023 YZ125X. This thing got all the updates in an off-road version that the last year's YZ125 motocross model got. So it's got brand new styling, it's got an 18 inch rear wheel, it's got a new motor configuration just like that motocross YZ125, but they've dialed it into the off-road market. So today we're getting our first chance to ride this machine. Come back later and we'll tell you what our first impression is on it. <laughs> just finished our first day of testing on the 2023 Yamaha YZ125X and no real surprises here. We like the, the motocross model. This bike got all the updates that the motocross model got with the new engine configuration, the new chassis design, everything kind of bringing it into the, the new generation of what a off-road and motocross bike is. It's got a flatter style seat that makes it feel like more of a modern motorcycle. This bike compared to the YZ125 motocross model has different compression ratio, has different power valve timing, has different mapping in, in, inside the CDI box. Probably a a little bit different jetting as well. It's got an 18 inch rear wheel more for off-road use with the MX-33 tires. We're happy that Yamaha's making this motorcycle. It kind of reiterates the fact that they're really dedicated to the off-road market. There is a couple things that we wish that it had that they can add really easily and the consumer can add re really easily. But if you're making an off-road bike, put hand guards on it. It's a really minor thing, but when we're out here and on the trails like we were today, you'll probably see in the video that front brake gets caught a couple times you end up on your head the the clutch lever gets caught on a branch or something like that and it kind of stops you maybe some hand guards might be if you're if you bought this motorcycle that would be the first thing that we would do but compared to the YZ125 it's got a little bit more bottom and you might be talking about just a slight amount more it kind of moves the power down to where you have to short shift it a little bit once you get up to that point about the mid-range of where the YZ model takes off the YZX model is kind of peaked out and so you, you're gonna short shift it. That could be a little bit of the lower compression. That could be a little bit of a lot of, a lot of different things. We haven't ridden this bike back to back with the YZ125. So there might be a little shootout video coming up here on what's the better all around bike. But again, we're happy Yamaha's making this bike. This bike is a blast to ride. It makes you feel like you're going really fast, even if you're not and you're just making a bunch of noise. But overall, suspension works great. The motor is really good, especially for maybe some of 
of those beginner riders that are just kind of learning to get on the throttle and when to get on the throttle, when to get off the throttle. It's a really easy platform to ride. And again, Yamaha does take this bike to another level with making it a little bit more trail worthy with that 18 inch rear wheel and the lowered compression to giving that bike a little bit more response right off bottom. So when it all comes down to it, Yamaha did a great job of updating a bike that actually hasn't been out for very long. The, the X model has only been out for a couple years. They could have just sat back and said, ah, we're gonna leave that alone for a while. But it looks like the motocross and off-road enthusiasts on the board at Yamaha outweighed the bean counters, got to the point to where they said, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make this update and we're glad they did. We're glad that Yamaha still is putting effort into YZ125s, YZ250s. They're still doing the two-stroke market because there is enough people out there that are gonna buy them. They are one of the manufacturers that stayed with a spring fork that make the smaller bore two-strokes. And now some of those other manufacturers are even going back to a spring fork. So the Yamaha testing department kind of knows what they're doing, it seems like, and uh, we're glad they're doing it. If you got a little bit more time, you want to check out some other Yamaha two strokes or just two strokes in general, click the video thumbnail now and don't forget to subscribe so you get that alert to stay up to date on everything we're doing. Head over to dirtbikemagazine.com for the latest off-road and moto industry news.